Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiara Fowler and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be tough for me. I've never been so transparent in a video before and but I just know God is um, God is telling me to to help someone out there that's de that dealt with the same thing I dealt with and how I overcame and how God healed me and how God set me free and delivered me like God is simply amazing and this video is strictly to help someone out there because I know someone male or female probably went through the same thing that I went through and don't know how to get out like just don't know how and don't have the strength to get out so I'm praying that this video help you and to see the truth and to see it is possible for you to get out it is possible for you to be free from sin, from all of that, it is possible. So this video is pretty much about how God delivered me and the stages of my deliverance and how God took the blinders off of my eyes and also how God healed me from betrayal and heartbreak. I wanna just pray because I need to pray right now. <clears throat> Father God, thank you for giving me the courage. Thank you uh, for just allowing me to do this video today. God, I pray over each viewer, God. I hope this video touched at least one person out there, God. I hope this video encouraged at least one person, God. God, anoint my mouth, God. Lesson me and give me more of you, God. Lesson me and give me more of you, God. I don't know what to say, but I want you to use me as your vessel to get uh, your point across and to uh, help someone out there, God. God, I just pray that this video encourage somebody out there and give me the strength, God, to, uh, to do this video and to um, be encouraged by it. And yeah, so I just thank you, God, for everything you are doing in my life. I trust you. I surrender everything. I just trust you, God. Just take over me right now, God. Holy Spirit, fill this room, God. Fill this room, Holy Spirit, with your love and your peace and yeah amen so um yeah so let's get into it i have my notes here my notes are, are all over the place like i literally like was squeezing stuff in some places so bear with me i hope the video don't be too long but if it is please watch the whole video don't don't click out okay don't click out watch this whole video so let's get started so pretty much the title was going to be how i got over being betrayed heartbroken cheated on and such okay um and how i got the strength to obey god and stuff like that okay the key points i want you to know the closer you get to god the more you will get revelation on your situation he will take off the blind foes if you're living in deception right now and you're blinded the closer you get to god he will take off those blinders and give you revelation. The more you get delivered, the things that pleased you in your past will not please you anymore. So if God pull, is pulling on you, if God is pulling on you, you better yield to the voice of God. If you feel the pull, he is trying to protect you from death. He saved me from death, okay? He saved me from deception. He saved me from insecurities. Sometimes we put ourselves in our own issues because we are living in, not in the will of God, living in sin. Oh, if you feel the pull of God, that's a sign that God sees, sees the outcome of this situation. If you are in a dishonest relationship, know who you are, know your worth. You are worth so much. Know where you come from. Like you are literally a kingdom's kid. Know your worth. Get close to God. The more you get in your word, the more you will know God's voice. Okay. For yourself. For years, you probably been listening to the enemy lying to you and deceiving you and causing you to get more and far, farther and farther away from the will of God. You have to want to get healed. You have to get to the point where you're tired of going through these cycles. No one can make you get healed. You have to have it in your heart. Okay, God, I surrender. 
I want to do your will. I'm tired of displeasing God. I'm tired of filling this pool and disobeying God. I'm done with living in lies. I'm done. God, take over me, God. Take over me. I know my worth now. You have to get to the point where you're like tired tired sometimes god will allow you to get that broken where you cannot lean on no one else no one else but him he will allow you to get so broken like man god god help me where the only name you call out is his name glory <laughs> so you have to want your healing no one else no one else it don't matter if you're a mama it don't matter if your cousin friend I want you to get healed. If you don't want it, this process right here, you might well just hang it up until you get ready for it. Okay. I just thank God for healing because there was a time period before he delivered me through this process. I was insecure. I was living in sin. I was lustful. I was fornicating. I was not in the will of God. The time period where I was so broken. You play a part in this as well. So here are the scriptures that God gave me um, for this word is Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And the second one is, is in Ephesians 6, um, 12. For, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the, the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. In times like this, uh, you may feel like God is not near, but he is closer to the broken hearted. The person who is betraying us is not our enemy know who you are fighting they are not your enemy we don't wrestle against flesh and blood it's the rulers principalities of the dark world okay just know they are not your enemy the devil wants to deceive you and tell you that that person who betrayed you and cheated on you is your enemy so get mad at them and guess what it's gonna be you the one going to god with anger in your heart with bitterness in your heart. They are not your enemy. The devil wants you to get trapped up in bitterness and anger. And that is not good because that is not the will of God because God wants you to show love, his love. So don't get fooled in thinking that person, he or she is your enemy. He is not, she is not. My journey all started when God kept pulling on me to stop fornicating. God literally said, if you keep on doing this, you are going to die. That was a hard decision, y'all. Let me just say that. It was a very hard decision. But anyways, God is good. I thank God for his strength. Real talk. That that took a lot of strength to stop to stop doing that. Okay. Um, once I made my mind up, like once I made my mind up, today I'm going to live for God. I'm going to please God. I'm going to stop fornicating. I'm going to stop. I, I'm going to try my best to stop living in sin. I don't want this sin no more. I just want to live for God. I got so hungry for God. I got tired of living in the emotional state where I was. Let me tell y'all, deliverance from fornication is no joke, okay? That is some territorial mess and they do not want to leave, okay? I start sleeping in my son's room. The, the devil was tormenting me in my sleep. It was days, y'all, like days like i had literally had outer body experiences like it was bad i know uh moments i couldn't really speak when things were happening i kept saying jesus jesus i kept calling on him and when i say the day i woke up free whoo i felt free and since then i haven't had any torment praise god thank you god the devil is not welcome on this turf like i thank god once i got delivered from that fornication. I didn't have those demons anymore to influence me, to lie to me anymore. My eyes started waking up. I started to realize who I am. <laughs> At first, I didn't know who I was. I was literally living in darkness. I started to know who the person was that I was uh, dating. I started to see him like through, like I started to get revelation. When I say deliverance is the key, <laughs> it's the key to get revelation and get the blinders off your eyes it is so important so yield to the voice of god if god is telling you to stop something yield to his voice and accept accept the deliverance y'all i started to see who i was i was a broken low down chick like 
I was so broken. I was so insecure. I was so, just so broken. It literally hurted my soul. And then I started seeing the person I was with. I say, man, we are broken. We are two broken people. And, and two broken people are like literally toxic. Like it's, it's going to be a toxic relationship. It's not going to be a whole relationship. It's going to be a broken, toxic relationship. And then I started realizing he is not my enemy. I started realizing the truth, the truth for years. I've been lied to saying that he is my enemy. This and that I started realizing the truth. God was saying, no, he is not your enemy. The devil wants to kill, steal and destroy you. Start realizing who your enemy is. Stop arguing with that person. If you gonna if you gonna argue with that person, you better argue to the thing that's influencing that person. And once you are delivered, you will get the strength to leave. If God told you to leave a relationship, you need to obey. If God told you to leave, leave. It don't matter how things may be looking. It don't matter if you don't have any money. It don't matter if you don't have a place to stay. It doesn't matter. If you yield to the voice of God, he will make a way out of no way. Before I left the situation, I was, I was writing down all of my bills and stuff, y'all. I was writing down, I said, God, you want me to leave, but I don't know how I'm going to get through. I don't know how I'm going to pay for anything. I don't know how this is going to happen. But, but God kept telling me to leave. He was like, leave. I said, but, but, but God, what if this happened? What if? What if that, what if that God said, leave. And when I tell you, if it's in God's will for you to leave a situation, he will provide. If it's in God's will, things will happen accordingly. He will provide. It will happen in order. If God told you to leave, you need, you need to obey or you going to die. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm keeping it real. It's what he told me. And God's word is consistent among all people. When God speaks, it is consistent among all people, not just for me, but for you too. If, if God been telling you to stop something, you better stop or you're going to die. I don't want you to live like this. It is a horrible feeling. Like I lived in so much heaviness for years. I lived in lies for years. So once God reveals something to you, it's okay to feel angry for that moment. It's okay to feel sad because you have every right to feel that way. So don't lie to yourself saying I'm good. I'm okay. I can move. I, you can move on. But in that first moment, like the first time, we, like the, uh, the first time where you find out when things start being uncovered, be honest with yourself. I am hurt. You need to tell God, I am hurt. I am sad. I am angry. I'm this. I'm that. I, I'm angry. And allow yourself to grieve. Allow yourself to feel those emotions because you have every right to feel those emotions. As the Bible says, he is closer to the brokenhearted. He is closer to those who grieve. The important thing is, is to not to allow those feelings be there longer than they need to be because you will be living in bitterness and anger for the rest of your life and god don't want that once that time period expire it is time for you to surrender surrender it to god surrender all your pain all your heartbreak all your hurt to god Tell God, I do not want this anymore. God, heal me. Go to the throne of God and say, God, take every last hurt out of me. God, continue to heal me. Mold my heart back together. God, my heart is broken, but mold me back together. I don't want this anymore. Surrender it to God. God, make a way out of no way. Be desperate that God is a healer. God, continue to heal me from my past. God, heal me from things that I don't know about. Take over my life, God. And start reading your Bible. Encourage yourself. Start reading your Bible. Start getting into your word. Start knowing God's voice for yourself. Spend time with God. Sit there in his presence. Allow God to take over you. Allow God to just take over and continue to mold and shape you. You carry that. You are literally holding on to stuff and that stuff is heavy. God is saying, give me all of your troubles and start encouraging yourself. 
speak scriptures over yourself. Even when you don't feel like they are working, they are working. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee. See, the devil's still telling you lies. Like, don't believe that. This stuff ain't happening. Ain't happening anytime soon. So why are you still sitting here talking about that? The more you resist the devil, he will flee. Keep speaking life over yourself. Keep speaking healing over yourself. Forgive the person who cheated on you or betrayed you. You have to forgive. Because if you do not, you will be living in so much bitterness, so much anger. You have to sincerely love that person the same way that God loves them. You have to see that person through God's eyes. Then you must not forget, you were living in sin before you got delivered also. God still loved you. So you have to see that person the same way that God sees them. You have to love them, sincerely love them, sincerely want them to get better. I actually go to them and say, you know what? I forgive you and I love you and I care about you. If you do not forgive, the devil will still have his power over you. People are here living in unforgiveness every day all around and the devil still has his influence and power over them. Another step is start being around people that that is like-minded stop being around people that are that are unequally yoked with you friendships that are that are unequally yoked you can be influenced like all that healing god had brought you through you can be influenced back to that again so be watchful who you hang around with be around people that are like-minded that love god that wants the best for you that will tell you the truth when you need to be told the truth if you need to release something release it directly to God because you need to not speak out of emotion. If God has not released you to tell that person, whatever you are feeling out of emotion, do not do it because, because not only that will stall your deliverance and healing, it's going to stall theirs. It's going to cause them to get angry and that's not good because you want the best for everybody. You want everybody to be healed. And if they hold an anger against you, that's not good. Make sure you do not stall anyone's healing because of your actions so i think that's all that i have i hope this video encouraged you and give you strategies on how to get over a hard breakup broken heart um anything like it could be anything like betrayal uh been cheated on because if i can make it through you can make it through because god's a healer he wants all of us to be healed and he wants all of us to see and not be blinded. Hope this video encouraged you and uh, be blessed and be encouraged. I'll talk to you later. Bye.